Hi, I'm Lisa Craddy and my company is Tegan and Mac and welcome back to our blog. Today we are going to talk about part two of our Why Organic series. Yesterday we discussed um, the effects of pesticides being on our clothing, the residual pesticides that remain in our clothing. Today we're going to move forward a little bit and we're going to talk about the effects on the environment. So if you don't have particularly sensitive skin, is there any reason why you should still consider organics? And I would say definitely yes. The reason for that is because pesticides, or cotton farming, excuse me, is known as the world's dirtiest crop. We are farming on about 2.4% of our global arable land. We are also using about 11% of the chemical pesticides and fertilizers. So there's quite an extreme there. Cotton farming, conventional cotton farming, use more chemical pesticides and fertilizers than any other crop in the world. So what is this doing to our environment? Well, in the clothing aspect of it, the cotton absorbs all of these chemical pesticides and fertilizers that are being poured into the crops. So as it's grown and as it's cultivated, it shows up again in our shirts, in our pants, in our towels, in our bed sheets. Think about all the aspects in your life where you come into contact with cotton. The Organic Exchange is an organization that devotes itself to teaching about the organic industry and it has a special focus on cotton farming. And they have told us that it takes about a third of a pound of chemical pesticides and fertilizers to make just one t-shirt. So if you translate that across the board, it is about three, approximately 320 million pounds of chemical pesticides and fertilizers being poured into the earth every single year. So think about all of those chemicals getting poured into our environment and that's just in one season alone. So tomorrow we will talk more about the environmental aspects. We'll delve a little bit more into where these chemicals are going as they run off the farms because it's not just about going into the soil. It goes much farther than that. So tune in again and we'll continue on with part three of our series of Why Organics. And thank you so much for spending a moment of your time with me. I will see you tomorrow.